What's going on everyone? Austin John please here and today we're going to be going over all of the rare spawns in the Coronet Highlands of Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> We are getting near the end. Here in the Coronet Highlands, we don't have that many rare spawns. We really don't. The reason we don't have a lot of rare spawns in this area mostly has to do with the fact that there's not a lot of new Pokemon. Like, a lot of the Pokemon that you experience here, you've experienced already. Like, if I sort by chronologically, the first new one that's exclusive to this area would be Gibble, and then Chimeco, and then Electabuzz, Gligar, and then some things down here. The Clefairy line. There's not that many brand new Pokemon in this area. In fact, like if you evolved Pokemon from the previous areas, which I've been doing, when I came here it took, I don't know, three hours to catch everything, including all the alphas and everything else, and most of them were not new Pokedex entries for me. So the first thing I want to point out is that over here in the Wayward Wood, in addition to the sonorous path, so all over here and the Wayward Wood, you are going to be able to find Heracross, and he is going to be hop hiding in the trees, and he can hop out of the trees, which you need to do that 15 times for a dex completion. You may have already completed his Pokedex entry. Oh, he's just sitting. He was sitting. I know that shiny Heracross is a favorite of some because of how stark of a contrast it is, so... If you want to go for the perfect Pokedex entry, this is the one place to find Heracross in trees. In addition, you could find Cherim in trees in this area, in the Lonely Spring, which is located right over here. And I had one pop out not near there at all. I think it was over here by the Fabled Spring. Maybe it's just by the springs. Yeah, you could find Cherim at like 75% and then Cheruby at 25%. So if you didn't follow my guide on doing it in the first area, here's a place you can get them and they should be like level 45. There are three rare Pokemon that you can kind of all hunt at the same time, which will make it a little bit easier. The easiest way is just to rezone everything. So I'm gonna make it Nightfall. I'm gonna go to the Moonview Arena, or if you unlocked it, the Summit Camp. And from here, if we head left, which is the northmost path over to the snowy area, there's a very slim chance we're gonna be finding Elekid. Elekid is going to be spawning at a 8.93% rate. I don't have it. And after you help quell the Frenzy Noble Electrode, it has a 0.89% chance to spawn in its alpha variant. And those percentages are slightly less during the rain. In addition, right here at the Sacred Plaza, you have a very slim chance to find Rodon. Even slimmer than that, you have a chance to find an Alpha Voltorb at less than 1%. Oh, look, we got a Rodon. Great. Rodom is actually, like, out of all the rare Pokemon I'm going to be going through here, probably the easiest to find. He's 6% during the day, 8.85% at night. That sticky glob work? It did work, but you still got the hit off. I don't know how or why. <laughs> okay, you, sir, are inconveniencing me. Gotta love that mischance with fog, right? Also, keep in mind, Rodom is an electric type, but he no longer has levitate. So, you can knock him out with ground moves. Be careful. Ultra Ball should work here. Okay. Sun's getting real low, little guy. Time to go to sleep. Good job with that T-Bolt. No! Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Okay, we'll find another one. Oh, I needed to defeat it for my Pokedex. That's exactly what I meant to do, guys. Exactly what I meant to do. There's something in that box. Is it a Voltorb? Oh, it's another Rodom. Oh, yeah, he could be in the boxes, too. Very slim chance, though, but definitely can be in the boxes. Accidental content. Nice. Also here on the Stone Tooth Rose, in addition to the Mistrevious, who are going to be hanging out here, you can also usually find a Rodom hanging out. Next, we are going to be heading down the Fabled Spring over to this location down here. And then coming over here, if we look to the left at the Fabled Spring, there's a very slim chance, and we got one, that we can find a Cleffa. Cleffa is going to be appearing at 8.93% and Alpha variant at 0.89%. Those are the exact same numbers as Elekid's chance to spawn. Can we just do a dope sky shot with a jet ball? Nope. 
Buffett, don't run away. I need you. I need you for content, please. Flowers are not cover. Oh, we got it. Great. So it can spawn in this patch over here. It can spawn next to the Alpha Cliff Fable over here. And it can also spawn on the opposite side of the pond. We got one over here, nice. Even though this has the exact same chance to spawn as the Elekid does, because there's many more spawn spaces, much higher chance you're gonna be finding one. Also, when you do find one, be sure to give it food. Feeding it five times is perfect dex entry, so easy stuff. Nope, not today, Satan. We're on a hill, so you don't like fly balls. Nice, we got the back shot. Perfect. Also, great news. After this video, we're gonna be heading to the last area, the Alabaster Icelands. And that means that my next video is going to be the wisps of this area. And then also probably the next area as well. I might just make it one combo video. And then we could go after these bad boys. No, not you. You. Yes, you, little guy hiding there in the grass. I see you. I see you blinking. I see you. Huh? I see you. Okay, zone in number two. Electabuzz. 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 I've also realized that I've always pronounced it Electrovire my entire life. And yesterday when I was typing out the alpha video, I'm, I'm doing my search command for um, the Pokemon moves. Uh, E-L-E-C-T. -E okay, well, I'm coming up with everything electric. Okay. E-L-E-C-T-R. No results. Why not? There's no R in the guy's name. I've just always called it Electrovire. I don't know why. Buzz one. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz off. Three buzz, no kids. Sounds like me in college. Zone in number four. I, I would have to check, but I'm pretty sure they're more common during the day. Usually all the baby Pokemon are, so I should be doing this during the day. You're not a Luxray this time. You're a Luxio. See? Weird things happen during the day. And perfect. We found a kid. Elekid, I'm pretty sure like most of the baby Pokemon, you gotta feed it. Feed it ten times for done Pokedex entry. Not to help towards Pokedex entry, like if you catch it once, and if you feed it 10 times, you're done. I should also let you know that Elekids are available in the next area, but in the next area, the Icelands, you are gonna be able to find Elekids there as well. The same rarity, so it's your option if you wanna do it now or later. Hopefully you like mushrooms. You like mushrooms there, kid? What kid doesn't like mushrooms, right? Please go eat the bean cake. Why are you taking so long to eat that one thing? Please go eat the bean cake. He did not eat the bean cake. All right, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere with these strings here. I'm a sucker for a good cello. And that was uh, without being spotted, fantastic. We only have four Pokemon left. Two evolutionary families. That includes the Shieldon and the Kranidos lines, which are only gonna be spawning in space-time distortions. So, with that being the case, I'm going to do the same thing that I do for space-time distortions to spawn in. By the way, I put out a tweet earlier today, just a fun little picture, and someone was talking about they don't have any space-time distortions show up because they're in the end game, and I just wanted to put it out here. That's very, very incorrect, okay? I've mentioned it in several videos, and if you're following along, you know how to get space-time distortions to show up. Being in the post-game does not decrease the rate in which they spawn. It's believed that having a more completed Pokedex will cause them to spawn slightly more frequently. You do not have to catch Pokemon to get them to spawn. Literally, go to a camp. I always prefer the second camp of an area. So, whatever is listed first here, not that one, the second camp in the later areas. Actually, everywhere except for the first area, you have to do a side mission to unlock this camp. I always prefer the second one. I put the controller down, and I wait for the screen to dim, which is, I think, five minutes later. I then hit the map button, and I look if there is a time-space distortion. If there is, I go there. If not, I get off the map, I go back to watching this screen. I also try to not have that guy there, because sometimes his text bubble will pop up, and it'll catch the corner of my eye, and I'll be like, Oh, what? I'm gonna start editing now, and I'll come back once I have my time-space distortion. You know what? I'm even gonna time how long it takes. I'm gonna come here, we're gonna set a stopwatch, 
and go. Three minutes and 17 seconds of standing here doing nothing and I got one to show up. Right there. In this space-time distortions in this area, you have a chance of the three rare spawns, not the frequent spawns that constantly spawn. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I love it when these things happen on camera. You have a 44% chance at Kranidos, 44% chance at Shieldon, 4.5% at Rampardos, 4.5% at Bastodon. If you're in the post game, those numbers are slightly lower because you have the Decidueye line here. But yeah, you can get all four of the fossil Pokemon from this area. Jet Ball. And we got a Rampardos, nice. In addition, when you find a Kranidos or a Shieldon, they should about be the level to evolve. If not, then like guaranteed at the level to evolve. Yes, give me that Electrolyzer and Nugget. Electrorizer. There's no L. I don't know what's going on with the Electabuzz line and me just throwing in consonants that aren't there. There we go. We got ourselves a Kranidos showing up. Oh. The fly balls never work on hills. We know this. This is known. Great, we got the Kranidos, and let's look for the third spawn of the area. Oh, perfect. Shield on. Ultra Ball from the back. Hi, Jolteon. Hi, Eevee. Great. We got him. I'm just going to hang out here in case something else spicy shows up. Oh, you hear that sound? That's the sound of airplane taking off. That means the distortion is going to be closing in 20 seconds. That's the last spawn. Okay, it's safe to start walking around now. Oh, there was stuff in the mud. Did we get anything cool respawning in the place? Anything spicy on the other side? Any full odd shinies from a time space rift? Nope, that's fine. Okay, cool. And just to show you exactly what's going on with these time space rifts, right? I'm gonna go to camp. I'm gonna face away. I'm gonna start my timer again while I go continue editing. Timer is on. 24 minutes, 52 seconds. Another time space distortion in the same place, coincidentally. While I was editing, I was realizing there was one more Pokemon that I may have forgotten that is typically associated with time distortion rifts. And of the Magnemite line that you got in the coastlands, you can get yourself Magnezone regularly here, right about here. I think he's in some other locations and from this one particular cliff, you can land yourself a, uh, a pretty easy throw. I like to get a feather ball ready and start with that. And then after I make first contact, I could switch to a jet ball if I want to. Isn't that right, Magnezone? Yeah, definitely the easiest flying Pokemon to catch because he's the slowest flying Pokemon. He's technically not flying. He's, you know, due to magnetism and whatnot. Come on, stay in the jet ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Thank you. Well, there you go, guys. That's going to be all of the rare Pokemon for the Coronet Highlands. We got some, we have one video left of this area, which is the Wisp. I'm going to do a combo video with the next area's Wisps, and then we're going to be in the last area. Fantastic. Well, guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.